we should also consider ourselves extremely fortunate to have encountered such a remarkable personality. He was peerless and indeed his legacy of excellence, of courage, of visionary leadership and generosity of spirit will never be extinguished. It will endure for a very long time to come. One of the great men of our time has died uh, and I think he's a man whose legacy certainly cannot be called into question now and I think will be uh, irreproachable for decades and centuries to come. Um, I'm very glad to have been able to meet him and I'm very proud to attach his name to mine in some way as a Weinfeld scholar. A great man with visionary leadership and excellent ideas for which he was always ready to make the extra mile and see them implemented. And um, he's a man to whom I will be eternally grateful for making the impossible possible, not just for me, but for all my fellow scholars through the Vardenfield Scholarship and Leadership Program. And we shall live by the values that this program has taught us and ensure that his memory remains. At the age of 96, he had more spirit, compassion, and intellect than many of the prominent figures of our time. I am extremely honored and proud to be a Weidenfeld scholar. I am here today because of Lord Weidenfeld, as are countless others who, because of him, we are able to realize our dreams. Thank you so much for all that you have done. Your legacy will live on forever and you will forever hold a place in our hearts. Uh, Lord Weidenfeld was an inspiration to all of us, how he led his life, his ambition, his hard work, his determination, his work in publishing, and his philanthropy. As one of the Weidenfeld scholars and a beneficiary of his generosity, I will forever be thankful for the opportunity he gave to us. Mankind will miss him, but his legacy will live on. Lord Weidenfeld was so wonderful every time we got to meet with him. He took such an interest and was so encouraging um, to all of us, and I really felt like he cared about me as a person, what I was studying, my subject area, my future plans, my, my own interests, and I was so grateful for all of that support and encouragement throughout my studies and beyond. I'll remember him most for simply holding court time and again with us scholars, always inquisitive and curious of our lives and academic work, while at the same time sharing stories, insights, and lessons from his own. So thank you, George Weidenfeld, and thank you for being a terrific example of a public servant. Lord Weidenfeld was a towering figure and a larger-than-life man. His unquenchable enthusiasm and his inexhaustible curiosity and optimism were truly unmatched. I was always in awe of his spellbinding stories, ranging from high politics to literary stories, but above all, his sense of humanity and breadth of ideas. I benefited enormously from the opportunity to study at Oxford on the generous Widenfold scholarship, and we all owe him an incredible debt of gratitude. All those who had the privilege of knowing him know what an extraordinary man he was. But what I find most inspiring is that he wasn't satisfied with merely publishing the stories of others. He did not stop with the stories of others, but he unfolded his own myth. And unlike many other people who would uh, spend the time with us uh, doing small talk, uh, it struck me how he went directly to the issue of things, asking everyone about the political situation in their countries, about the news. And, and for, for me, that was something we, we, which stuck with me and that I, I'd, like to, uh, I'd like to follow, always going after the core of the matters rather than the superficialities. And the second memory is uh, the unforgettable evening when over dinner he was telling us the story of the last fencing duel uh, in the history of Austria in we, which he himself participated as a as a young man in Vienna before the war. Uh, these are the two things that I will never forget. Great man and a true leader. He actually inspired the entire generation of Weidenfeld scholars from all over the world. And people like me who owe this success to him.
as well as his initiatives. It's until when they told me that he had passed and I looked at his legacy, I looked at everything people were writing about him, that I realized this is the kind of person that I want to be. This is the kind of leader that I want to be. This is why I'm here. This is why I got to meet this great man. A totally, incredibly, absolutely inspiring. I'm so, so very proud to be a part of the Weidenfeld family. It has seriously changed my life. Thank you so much for your generosity and just your inspiration. I'd like to thank him for this opportunity uh, that has been provided. Uh, this, this, this opportunity, well, for making possible a dream uh, for a lot of us come true. He has inspired all of us through his life and vision. I hope we will be able to reflect the vision and his legacy in the work uh, that we are and we will be doing henceforth. I found him to be a very, very uh, warm, amazing and uh, inspirational person. Uh, I think even the fact that he has set up such a wonderful scholarship to give opportunity to people coming from developing countries and not so well to do backgrounds to realize their dreams is the it's an amazing feat in itself. After all, he was, is the reason that I was able to come to Oxford and enjoy all the opportunities that I am enjoying and um, already has had a significant impact on me and it will continue to do so as I'm here longer. And not just myself, but if I think about the other scholars who are on the program, I mean, they are some of the most impressive and intellectual yet down-to-earth and outward-thinking and humble and community-conscious people that I've ever met. And I think that that perfectly sums up the vision and passion that Lord Weinfeld had during his life and, and what he envisioned for the scholarship. George Weinfeld was a man of great vision and I can't even start to express how grateful I am that I became the uh, beneficiary of uh, his great vision and his projects. I, my life has changed after I got the Weidenfeld Hoffman Scholarship. On April 17th, 2015, I received one of the greatest honors. It was the day that I was awarded the Weidenfeld Hoffman Scholarship. What made the scholarship so special was the legacy and the testament of the man who created it. George Weidenfeld's legacy is a legacy of strength and of courage in a time of adversity and also a legacy of generosity and care for his fellow man. And this is a legacy that will live on through Weidenfeld scholars past, present and future. Mm -hmm.